the heart of the matter. There's an enemy of our souls. He seeks to break, destroy, and kill us. His one goal, keep us separated from our creator. How does he do this? He makes sin look pretty stinking amazing. He entices us with the things of this world. He keeps us bound and encourages us and even actually cheers us on to stay so deep in our addictions, all the while knowing that this is what's keeping us, keeping us from living our best life, keeping us from our purpose, keeping us from knowing love. Sin, it's the one thing that you and I have in common and none of us are exempt. Now my sin might look a little different than yours or come in a different shape, style, or size, but sin is sin. And really there's no level or depth of sin for what one of us finds ourselves in is never going to be outside the reach of our God, our creator. Will you hear this truth and let your heart hear it? The heart is hopelessly dark and deceitful, a puzzle that no one can figure out. But I, God, search the heart and examine the mind. I get to the heart of the human. I get to the root of the things and I treat them as they really are, not as they pretend to be. That's found in Jeremiah. What do we learn from this verse? That God can see us. He knows right where we're at. There's no hiding, there's no smoke screen, there's no mask. And, and all while he sees us, he sees us for who we really are, who he created us to be. And he sees past the sin. Because again, we're not outside his reach. Because there's nothing we can do, nothing, no place we can go, no, far, uh, no way we can get ourselves in so deep that, that God can't reach us. I don't know about you, but that sure reassures my soul. Because I have done some, some really goofy, messed up things. And yet I haven't out done God in that. And when we allow this truth to come reach us where we're at, there's something that helps our hearts to realize that sin isn't so binding, that God can break through that, and that love comes and shines a different perspective for us. And God and love have a different perspective. Because see, I, I wonder if our free will was all part of the plan the plan for God to really show us how sincere and pure and true love really was. Think about that. That even in all the things that we've chosen to do, love doesn't give up on us. It doesn't leave us. It doesn't abandon us. It doesn't desert us. It stays. Because when I believe that about love, that changes everything. There's a story in the Bible about this woman. She's gone to collect water from the well. And Jesus is there and he's thirsty and he, he asks for a drink of water. And she's trying to figure out, one, what, who this man is, why he's talking to her, why he can't just get his own water. Anyway, they have this conversation and partway into the conversation, Jesus points out some things that she's doing in her life, some, some void fillers that she's, she's used. Hers tends to be romantic relationships. She's found herself in quite a few marriages and in, in the relationship she's in now, she's not married. But, but Jesus points this out. And he doesn't point it out to embarrass her or shame her. Rather, he points it out to show what's enslaving her, what's, what's keeping her captive, what is keeping her from her best life. Second Peter 2 Peter 2.19, for a man is a slave to whatever has mastered him. You see, the sin in our life actually works as a master. It's what, it's what dictates our life, what controls our life, what leads our life. And, and unfortunately, I can identify so many things in my life that have mastered me over the years, whether it's my pride, my selfishness, fear, negative thoughts, the need to be in control. Those things have, have kept me from living my best life. Galatians 
It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. That's in Galatians. I, I'm so thankful to a God who would identify down to my heart the matter that was separating me from him. And not only would he identify it, but he would stand next to me and guide me and lead me through it. And I, I know, friend, that he wants and desires that same thing for you.